I get older, it seems more and more odd to me, this book, rather than, more unfamiliar rather than familiar. Um, it's like reading about a complete, uh, complete stranger. Um, after all, my kids, two of my kids are, are at least the same age as the boy in this story. Um, my name is Karim Amir, and I'm an Englishman born and bred, almost. I'm often considered to be a funny kind of Englishman, a new breed, as it were, having emerged from two old histories. But I don't care. Englishman I am, though not proud of it, from the South London suburbs and going somewhere. Perhaps it's the odd mixture of continents and blood, of here and there, of belonging and not belonging, that makes me restless and easily bored. Or perhaps it was being brought up in the suburbs that did that. Anyway, why search the inner room when it's enough to say that I was looking for trouble? Any kind of movement, action, sexual interest I could find. Because things were gloomy, slow and heavy in our family, but I don't know why. Quite frankly, it was all getting me down and I was ready for anything. Then, one day, everything changed. In the morning, things were one way and by bedtime, they were another way. I was 17 years old. Now, on this day, my father hurried home from work, not in a gloomy mood. His mood was high for him. I could smell the train on Dad as he put his briefcase away behind the front door and took off his raincoat, chucking it over the bottom of the banisters. He grabbed my fleeing little brother Ali and kissed him, and he kissed my mother and me with enthusiasm, as if we'd recently been rescued from an earthquake. More normally, he handed Mum his supper. A packet of kebabs and chapatis so greasy that their paper wrapper had disintegrated. Next, instead of flopping into a chair to watch the TV news and wait for mum to put the food on the table, dad went into the bedroom which was downstairs and he stripped to his vest and underpants. Fetch the towel, he said to me, the pink one. I did so. Dad spread the towel on the bedroom floor and fell onto his knees. I wondered if he'd suddenly taken up religion. But no, he placed his arms beside his head and he kicked himself up into the air. I must practice, he said in a stifled <coughs> voice. Practice? Practice for what, I said. They've called me, he said. They've called